Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno as we enter day three of Film 4's Fright Fest. And this evening we have an Italian flavour starting off with Power 3D. Welcome to Fright Fest. And Thank you. I have to say, I've just seen the film and I feel sick. It's brilliant. Oh, it's, it's got everything, hasn't it, in the film? It's got it's a cat and mouse. It's a, it's, it makes you jump. Um, it's good. You've got gore. Where did you get the idea from? Oh, our mind. <laughs> I guess it's a, we were dreaming of making a horror movie years. So when we started doing it, I guess we put all our fears inside. So all those things you quoted, they are fears, you know? The fear of being chased, the fear of something that happens suddenly, and, and, and the disturbing fear, which is the main fear we wanted to inspire. And how did you work together with the writing and the directing? Yeah, we, we, we write together, we, we think about the story together. Then Marco is more a writer than me, so he, he writes dialogues and everything. And, uh, and on the set, uh, I'm a camera operator too. So Marco directs actors and I move the camera and uh, choose the angles and everything. And, and what, I mean, the, the, the character, the, um, the Marquesa, he is he's so sinister, isn't he? Yeah, uh, I have to tell you that the actor is not sinister at all. <laughs> and uh, when, because we knew he's a famous singer, so we knew it from the stage and we thought he was so sinister. Then when we met him, he's a very nice, sweet and uh, sunny guy. So we were worried. Instead, at the end, it comes out as it should. So, yes. <laughs> and and there is a, there's a massive twist at the end. And, and was, was that what kind of inspired the, the story from the beginning? Uh, no, no. It... Uh, while we are thinking about the story and uh, the, the end comes comes with the story so we didn't think about the, the end before but just doing it writing it we, we feel that, that that is the natural ending because uh, that the movie is uh, an inspection on the psychology of one girl that grew up in a very very weird way so we just thought that her mind should be like that and the man that was held in her captive is also the man that grew her up, so it's like a father figure for her. So I don't think it's really a twist, it's just a got gain, getting deep into her mind. Your character is so tormented, isn't she? Yes, she is. I'm so sorry for her. Sometimes I still weep, weep, yeah. I can, I can quite imagine. How much work did you have to do with the, with the directors to, to get the performance out of her that you, did, you got? Yes, uh, actually we didn't have so much time, so it was kind of, it, it's not strange with Manity Brothers, they really push you under pressure, so giving you little time is one of their characteristics, but we really went uh, into books, you know, into studying the psychological uh, meaning of being, um, you know, cap captured, captured and blah, 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 and so... It has been hard, but um, as I, I love to say, they, they put me in this basement, uh, they guided me through my fears, and I think at the end I, I came up stronger, even as an actress, so I thank them. I thank them. Well, I was going to say, how do you, when you're playing a role like that, day in, day out, take just forget about what's happened to you in the daytime do you take the, a residue of, of the t torment that you've been through yes absolutely Th that is something that i probably have to learn uh how not not to do it sorry for my English. uh because um, it has been very hard that, that that has been the hardest part and i was alone in that moment uh, um, so in that months that we were shooting, so when I went back home, it was very strange. But you know, actors are all, are, are playing all the time, but sometimes uh, you owe something to some characters, and it's it, it's right also to put yourself through some pain because I think I think this is also the job, you know. And the, the, the great thing, that, that it's been so well written that well, obviously we can't give away what happens in the end, but your character, there is a real turn, isn't there, with her? And that must have been so exciting for you when you read the script. Yes, yes, it has been. Uh, it's, with with Manedi Bros, you, you always are like amazed because also in Italy we, we don't... Um, 
um, try so much. You know, we we are more. Uh, um, yes, I thought we thought we we made movie about uh, yes. So, so it's a sort of psychology. Yeah, a lot. So adventures movie, shall we say, uh, are not uh, at the in the day order. I oh, sorry, I'm kind of tired. And so it has been a thrill. It has been a thrill, and at the end she gets to, you know, do some stuff. And I I tell them all the time, you have to make the sequel so I can take my revenge, please. I need to be the cool bad girl, you know. What an exciting script to be uh, a part of. Did you see the movie? I've you just like seen it, I very much. <laughs> I'm still feeling a little ill. It's wonderful to be in this movie, you know. I, I met the Manetti Bros uh, like two months before they shot the movie and um, I had to do like five or six auditions, I can't remember. And I had to audition, um, uh, I had to do in the audition the, the torture part. So it was a nightmare, you know, doing that for five, six different times with different actresses because they wasn't sure about the, they weren't sure about the actress to to choose. But uh, but I'm still alive, you know. I'm here. I'm I'm, I'm so glad to see that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was going through your mind when you first read the script? You must have been re turning yeah, the page. Wow, well, I thought, my God, how can I? How am I gonna do that? You know, when I all tied up, you know, how can I do that? But then I, I said to myself, uh, well, this is a very good chance for you to see how far can you go as an actor, you know, and um, I just um, listened to the Manetti and uh, yeah, I did my job, you know. Oh, my, you did you did a very good job. Oh, I mean, uh, so, uh, Simone is uh, he's the hero of the of the piece, and he goes on it's such like a, a massive journey. More than an hero, he's like a strange hero, you know, because he's a uh, um, he's not a cool guy, you know. But at the end, he's the only one who's trying to save the girl, you know. Who so he might be an hero. He's definitely a hero. He's, he's got integrity. Yeah, yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> and and um, and for you shooting at the end of the day, what what's it what's it what was it like? You know, having to sort of get rid of the anxiety that he's been through. Well, one good thing was that um, when we were shooting in the um, big villa, you know, we could go and have a swim in, in the pool. So we weren't thinking about this, the bad scenes that we did. We just did, you know. And um, yeah, it is a horror film, but we really had a lot of fun doing it because all the cast and the crew were uh, amazing and very funny. So.